Yes then guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you are new around here, my name's Cameron and I used to be a firefighter and I've kind of switched up my content recently. I wanna make content which isn't as flashy. You've probably heard me say that in a few recent videos. I, I wanna keep my content like raw and authentic now and that's, that's the purpose because I feel like I can give a lot of value which is what I'm gonna do in today's video. But ultimately, as long as I help at least one person in every video, then that's all I care about, honestly. Um, I don't, like, I'm not asking for any money off anyone. I'm not selling anything. I'm not here to sell you a course or anything. I just want to give back and give some knowledge down and pass knowledge down because that's what I enjoy doing. I like helping, helping other people. So I've got a platform, so I just use it, basically. Um, if you are new around here, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel, maybe like the video. It would help me out a lot and uh, it would show me that you guys are interested in the content that I'm currently making. But nevertheless, as you can see from the title of the video, guys, today we're going to be talking about that, that transition from working a nine to five to then working for yourself and traveling and earning money online anywhere in the world, as much money as you actually want to make yourself. You're not capped like you are at a job. And yes, guys, before we get into the video properly, I'm going to tell you that this is true. I am living proof of this. I used to be a firefighter. I used to, I didn't hate the job. I just wasn't fulfilled. I wanted to do what what I'm doing right now. I manifested what I'm doing right now. I put in the steps in place to do what I'm doing right now. People used to laugh at me when I used to tell them the life that I wanted to live and what I wanted to do with my life. People used to laugh when I started making YouTube videos. But I knew I had to get through that phase. I knew I had to get over that phase. And that's 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 kind of what you guys have got to do as well. Like, just to set the foundations is you're not going to get to this lifestyle, which I'm going to talk about. And this is going to be like a I think I've got on my laptop here, five steps, a five step process. Um, you're not going to get there if you're not willing to take a bit of criticism or have people laugh at you because that's what people are going to do. Like that, that's exactly how it's going to be. No matter what it is you're trying to do, whether you want to leave your job to go to a new job, like maybe you don't want to travel the world and somehow you've on this video, but that's probably not what you, why you're on the video, but you're probably not that type of person. But even if you want to start a new job, people still laugh at you. People still take the piss out of you. So yeah, you need to get that out of your head. And that's the first piece of advice I'd give anyone watching this video. But Let's get straight into it, man. Um, I'm going to keep this very raw. Like I said, I don't like really cut my videos unless something like loud happens or uh, there's a reason for me to cut it. I'm just going to keep it very authentic. I've got five bullet points here, five steps that we're going to talk about. And uh, hopefully, and I'm pretty sure, um, see what I mean? I start talking about cutting it and I end up jumbling my words. So I have to, <laughs> I have to cut that last little bit. But hopefully you will get some value from this video. Hopefully you kind of see an insight into what I'm trying to say. Is what, I'm, is what the kind of aim that I'm putting towards in this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, guys. So the first point that everybody should do if you want to leave your nine to five and earn money online is to build a safety net of cash. Now, your safety net is going to be dependent on your own situation. I can't advise to you. I can't tell you or say, right, you need to save three grand, then you can quit your job. Or you need to save 10 grand, and then you can quit your job. I can just tell you from my experience what I've done. Now, in my own personal example is I made sure I had at least £10,000 in the bank. Now, I had more than this, but I had to make sure I had that anyway. And I'll be honest, I haven't touched that. And if any, in fact, in fact, I've earned more since I've quit my job. But you need to have this safety net because what you'll find is as soon as you quit your job, which is what I'll talk about later on, is you're on like a time scale between like earning more money again. Do you know what I mean? Like if, you, if you're like me, when you quit your job, I went from the fire service, I was earning 2,000 to 3,000 British pounds a month, maybe more with overtime. And then I went from that to... I was earning a bit of money here and there on the weekends. So it was a massive drop in money, which isn't ideal. It isn't ideal, but it's a risk. And that's that's what you've got to do. Also, keep in mind that like I had direct debits coming out. I had money still to pay out. I still had debt. Do you know what I mean? I still had things to pay, like my car insurance, my car, petrol, diesel, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like your tax. These things are still coming out. Your uh, music payment, your Spotify, your YouTube premium, your bloody... Um, Photoshop or whatever it is that you use on your phone that comes out like your direct debit, your gym membership, you still have these things coming out guys. So make sure you've got some cash ready and cash available. I've, like I said, everybody's different. Um, you need to have a, ca a piece of cash. You need to have some cash there because if everything fails and it doesn't go the way you want it to go, then at least you've got that safety net. At least you're not going to look like an idiot going back to your job after three months. Do you know what I'm saying? Because that's the last thing that you want because it will put your motivation down. Don't get me wrong, if you have to do that, you have to do that, but that's not what we're aiming for in this video. That's not what we're trying to do. I'm trying to get you guys from a nine to five to working online remotely, and that is not gonna be an option, do you know what I'm saying? But you've always gotta think of the possibilities. 
The next thing that I've put down here that I think you guys should always do is to research and learn a skill which gives you the option to work anywhere in the world. This is so crucial. This is literally one thing that I will always thank myself for. This is something which I think like I was a bit of ahead of my time or like nobody else was talking about this. So I first invested in a camera, not the camera you like, I'm watching, I'm recording this on. Um, this is an upgrade because I've upgraded my equipment. But when I started out, I bought a Canon M50 Mark II, which was about, I bought a vlogger kit because I wanted to start vlogging on YouTube, which was about four, 500 pound maybe, maybe 600 pound with all the different accessories. So 600 pound I spent on this camera. Now that was a lot of money at the time. That was a lot of money. And the only reason I bought that camera was not because I was, I love photography or I love videography or I loved vlogging. It was because I knew that if I had that camera and if I knew how to use that camera, I could work anywhere in the world, meaning I could earn an income from anywhere in the world, meaning I can be anywhere in the world and live a life. And that is as simple as that, guys. You need to find and learn a skill. If you haven't got one right now, just some examples I've got here. Photography, videography, graphic design, editing, all these different things that people are doing. Forex trading. I've never personally done Forex, but I know a lot of people are making serious money on it. So don't limit yourself. Think of a skill. Maybe it is editing and you just want to have a laptop, invest yourself in a laptop. It might not be a camera that you want. You might not want to start vlogging. You might not want to start doing um, photography for people. But ultimately, if you want to live the life of freedom, if you want to live a life on your own terms and travel anywhere, you can't be fixed to one location. You can't stay in one place because what you, you literally, you're not going to get the lifestyle you want. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to explain it the best way I can, but I don't want to repeat myself. And this is what I'm saying. You need to find a skill which you can use anywhere in the world. My camera can come with me anywhere in the world. My laptop can come with me anywhere in the world. This right now, what I'm doing now is work. Tonight, I'm going to a, a club to work with a DJ. I'm in Malaysia right now. Like To put that into perspective, things I thought about two years ago when I first invested in the camera is what, I, what I'm dreaming. Like My younger self is dreaming of what I'm doing now. I'm going to work in one of the biggest nightclubs here in Malaysia with a massive DJ who's now a really good friend of mine. And it's just these connections that you make and you don't do it just sitting in an office. You don't do it just watching YouTube videos. You don't do it just scrolling on TikTok. So get outside your comfort zone, invest in a skill which you can learn anywhere in the world. Now, it's important that you do this while you're still in your job. If you have no experience with any of this then, Stay in your job, even if you've got that cash aside. My opinion is stay in your job. This Having a skill is more important than having cash in the bank, in my opinion, because if you've got a skill, then you don't have to, you can earn money on the go. Do you know what I mean? If you've got cash in the bank, it's just gonna keep going down and down as you're spending more. If you've got a skill, you can earn money so you can go up and up. Think about that comparison, guys. So, like I put on here, do it while you're still in your job. Um, you can work overtime to invest in any equipment or software that you might need. You might need editing software, you might need, um, like a camera, you might need equipment, you might need batteries, you might need a light, you might might need a new lens, you might need a new laptop. All these things that you're going to need, guys. Do overtime in your job, get some extra money, invest in your own equipment. Don't go out on the weekends spunking your money, do you know what I mean? Don't buy that new designer top because you don't really need it. I'm sitting here in an H&M top, guys. It's cost me £5 in the UK. I ordered it before I come here, obviously. It cost me £5. I, I've got Primark tops, which cost me £2. Like... And the people that I speak to, the people who I know that are doing this, living this lifestyle, they ain't got the flashy garments, they ain't got the, the flashy watches or the flashy shoes. And don't get me wrong, treat yourself. Like if you've got the money there, treat yourself. We've all treated ourselves. We've all bought a nice pair of trains and stuff. Fair enough, but like, don't waste your money doing that. Think about the long term. Think about like, use your money as a vehicle. I always say it's like soldiers. When you send your soldiers out to battle, you're almost sending, use your soldiers as money. You send your money out to battle. And this is a good analogy, which I'm, I'm going to expand on a little bit now, actually. So send your soldiers out. Imagine you've got five soldiers, yeah? And say it's um, five grand. You've got 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. That's 5,000 pound. Instead of spending 5,000 pound on, I don't know, investing into stocks, because you haven't diversified. Spend a thousand on some camera gear. Spend a thousand on investing into stocks. Spend a thousand on some software. Spend a thousand on a mentor teaching you what it is that you want to learn. Spend a thousand on, I don't know, fucking something which is going to give you another return on your money. Do you know what I mean? Like split your money, guys. Send your soldiers out to work for you. Don't let, don't work for money. Let your money work for you is what I'm trying to say. So 
I think that's enough on that point. Um, if you've got any questions with anything I'm going through, if I'm speaking too fast, because I know I do speak too fast, um, so I'll try and slow it down. But if you have, let me know in the comments. Um, anything you want to ask me, guys, let me know as we're going along the video. Pause the video, take some notes, do whatever it is you need to do. And uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go through, like, we're on point three now, but I feel like already I've gave a lot of value. And if you have enjoyed it so far, it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video, because... I don't really get paid to do this kind of stuff. Um, I get a bit of money from YouTube, but it's it's not life. If not, it's not like life changing. It's not my main source of income. This is just something that I enjoy doing. So uh, yeah, and if you do like me as a person, please subscribe to the channel as well. Um, right then, guys. Number three, we've got pick a location to start with. Now I've put here somewhere where you think you will suit your lifestyle. Think about the weather. Think about the cost of living, and think about the networking opportunities. Whilst you're still in your job, to save as much time as you can, because as soon as you quit your job, time's just going faster and faster. Your money's going down. Do you know what I mean? You're not earning money every day like you was in your job. Find a location where you want to go when you quit your job. My my example was Thailand. Perfect example. A lot of people go. You'll find go to Thailand because it's cheaper to live there. It's not mad cheap. Don't get me. You can live really cheap there, but it's not like ridiculously cheap, not as cheap as it used to be, but it's a lot cheaper than the UK. So that's why Thailand, weather is a lot better than the UK. Networking opportunities, in my opinion, is a lot better than the UK because what you'll find is when you put yourself in different locations, you'll meet people who are on the same journey as you. You'll meet people who want the same lifestyle as you. You're not going to meet, I'm not going to really meet, the chances of me meeting a UK firefighter in Thailand is going to be so slim compared to the chance of me meeting a digital nomad or somebody working online or somebody who's creating content online and earning an income from it. So put yourself in these position, guys. Think about the location. It doesn't have to be Thailand it can be America it can, it can be anywhere it can be anywhere like a lot of people go to Australia a lot of people will go to America Colombia like whoa bit banging there sorry if you can hear that it's big bang in the uh, condo that I'm staying in but think about your location guys think about where it is that you want to go and like think about does it suit your lifestyle look at research into it are there other people doing the same thing there is the weather okay like a lot of people might move to new york because there might be better opportunities for their style of work or their um niche of work over there do you know what i'm saying so research it go on reddit go on youtube go on facebook groups and you'll, you'll find things you'll, you'll find the location once again do this while you're still in your job um, and our number four guys I put here, once, I've have all, once I'd have all these things in place, that is when I would quit my job. So once you've got your safety net, once you've got a skill that you know you can earn money from anywhere in the world, once you've got an ideal place where you want to live, like, because the last thing you're going to want to do is quit your job and then think, what now then? Like, where, where do I go now? Like, I've quit my job, but now I'm going to start looking at where to live. No, you're just wasting time. You know what I mean? I, I like... I was still in my job when I booked my flight to Cyprus. That's where I first went after I quit my job. And I went to Cyprus because I knew I had work opportunities there and I knew I could network there with the camera, like with everything that I was doing. I, I, Cyprus was beautiful for me in the summer. And funnily enough, I'm going back there this summer. I'm going, by the time I'm recording this, I go back there in three weeks. So it's absolutely nuts. I'll be there again in three weeks. So uh, yeah, it's been nearly a year now since I've quit my job, guys. So uh, it's gone very, very fast. I will tell you that much. But yeah, that, this is when I'd quit my job. This is when I would... Take the risk, take the leap. Do you know what I mean? Believe in yourself. Do do the things that you say you're gonna do. Like, don't just be one of these people who get to this point and then wait for the perfect time. Because that's another thing. So many people will wait for the perfect time. I was guilty of this. I'd always think like, when is the perfect time? When can I like quit my job and like and everything be okay? And the reality is, people, there is no perfect time. There will never be a perfect time. So that's what you need to get in your head as well. You could spend years and years saving your money, and then before you know it, it could all be gone. You could get, God forbid, touch wood, it doesn't happen, but you could get hit by a car. And this is what I mean, like, time is very limited. Time isn't coming back. It's always going, like, we're always losing time. So, very important, guys. So that was number four, anyway. Quit your job. Um, and, yeah, on all, a, a very important thing that I put here, which I forgot to mention, is try to get a career break or, or a sabbatical. So, for you guys that don't know, career break is obviously when you have a break from your job that might give you a year off, like the fire service, for example, gave me three, up to three years off. Now, you might not have that in your job. You might have a sabbatical or they might even speak to your boss and say, look, I want to try this. I want to do this. Is it possible if I can get two or three months off? Depends on your own situation, do you know what I mean? Depends on what, what your boss is like. Depends on who you are as a person or 
whether you even want to go back to your job. So think about it, guys. Like, give yourself as much peace of mind as you can. If you can get three months off and you know you've got a job to go back to, if it all fails, then you can leave your job even sooner. You might not need as big of a safety net. So that's my advice in terms of um, quitting your job, guys. Now, the last one that I'm going to talk about before I give you guys some final advice, which is going to be pretty important. So make sure if you're watching this so far, one, thank you, but two, watch it through to the end because I'm going to drop some gems at the end of this. Um, the fifth one, which I've touched on recently, is uh, work as hard as possible, avoid any distractions, and lock in. You only have a certain time window, guys. Um, no matter how much money you've got in your bank, like I keep saying, your window's always going to get shorter and shorter and shorter because you're going to be spending your money, spending your money, spending your money, especially if you're not earning money yet, especially if your skill that I've told you to learn in step two isn't kind of coming into tuition yet and you're not earning money. You're just going to be spending money. So if I was you, I'd lock in, I'd get very disciplined, I'd cut out anyone who wasn't giving me progress or helping towards the lifestyle that I wanted to live. Like I've stopped speaking to a lot of people um, and that's not an ego thing. That's not because I think I'm better than them. It's just because we want different things. We want different lifestyles. They're happy going to their nine to five. They're happy plodding along in life. They're happy getting a mortgage and paying it off for the rest of their life for them not to even own it because they're going to die. And then the bank will own it again. Do you know what I'm saying? So we have different lifestyles. And if you're watching this video, you can probably relate to me a lot, which is good because that means that YouTube's recommending you the right videos. So yeah, guys, work in silence. Um, work as hard as possible and avoid any distractions. This can involve women. Women can be a distraction. Um, they also can be the best thing ever for you. So it depends on the woman, depends on you as a person. So don't feel like women are always bad. Don't feel like women are always like negative and will not be good on your journey. It depends on what you want as a person and it depends on how they will affect your productivity and your mood and like what it is that you're trying to do. But I can only advise like for you to sort that out for your own situation everyone's different everyone reacts differently to women um and lastly guys i just want to give you some advice some advice for myself um the first thing i've got here is that it's not going to happen overnight and don't expect to be mega like successful in three months at least do do what you say you're going to do for at least six months and then if you look back after six months and you're still in the same position then say to yourself, all right, maybe I should pivot now. Maybe I should try something else. But even then, like I'd even say like a year, try it for a year if you can. Like, because you'll do something and it might lead to another opportunity, it's something that you never imagined that you might do. You might like, you might quit your job now and you might do what I've done and get into photography and videography. And then the year later, you could be working on a yacht, selling yachts with your new multimillionaire business part partner that you met when you went IB for to do some video work. You honestly don't know where your life's going to take you. And that's the beauty of self-employment. That's the beauty of living and traveling and working online is that you're going to meet people from all over the world, all over the world, guys, which means you have connections all over the world, which means you are very valuable all over the world. As long as you can provide value, which is what your skill should be doing, providing value for someone in exchange for money, you can do this anywhere in the world, people. It's uh, it's quite beautiful when you sit there and you think about it and you listen to videos like this and you like you get that light bulb moment in your head. You've probably had it now. And you're like, yeah, man, like I could do this. Like this, this, this can be done for me. Um, and I've put as well. It's not easy. Um, that's why everyone's not doing it. It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to sit here. Like I said, I'm very authentic. I'm very real. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to be easy. There's been times throughout the last three months where I thought, shit, man, like even the last six months, twelve months since I quit my job, like shit. Have I made the right decision? Like, I've had thoughts, I've had dreams in my head of me going back to the fire service and like being a firefighter again. And <clears throat> it's not good. Like, it's not nice because you start doubting yourself, especially when things aren't going how you want them to go. But it's important to zoom out, look at the bigger picture, and actually see how far you've come. So many people will expect it to happen overnight, and uh, so many people think it's going to be easy. But always remember, if it's easy, everyone would do it. That's why there's not a lot of people doing it. That's why it's very lucrative to live this lifestyle that I'm currently living. The lifestyle that a lot of other people you see that are creating content are living. Because there's two different people. There's people that create content, there's people that consume content. If you're like me, you're a creator. Even though you're consuming content now, you're doing it for your own personal benefit. You're consuming it now because you want to be a creator. So think about it like that, guys. If it was easy, everyone would do it. 
Um, like I've mentioned here, you'll meet people on the same journey. I've already spoke about that, guys. You will meet people who are like-minded. You'll meet people who want the same as what you want. That's why they're in the position that you're in. That's why they might be in the location that you're in because you both want the same thing. So you've both probably watched videos like this which have gave you the encouragement to do that. That's a good thing. Um, and also, last thing I'll say is uh, it's the best feeling ever and being your own boss and having flexibility to do what you want when you want. And that's what I'll end it on, guys. It is literally the best feeling ever. I haven't set an alarm to wake up like, unless I've had to go for like a meeting or doctors or something like that. I haven't set an alarm and like been pissed off to set an alarm for over a year now because I've got work in the morning. I'm going to see a, a boss that I don't like. Do you know what I mean? Working for shit money. And we're in a new age now. We're in a new kind of digital economy now. There's people earning thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands from creating content, from being online, from traveling. And that's just, that's literally just the reality of it. Um, so yeah, it's very inspiring when you think about it like that. And it's also very achievable. Don't think that it's impossible. Don't think that you're never gonna be able to do this because if you think like that, you'll never be able to do it. Whereas the people that take action, the people that actually get to where they want to get to or do the things to get them where they want to get to will realise when you get here, where you are, like you might look at me now and be like, oh, okay, like he's where he's, like I'm where I said I wanted to be last year, which is beautiful. But I wouldn't have got here if I didn't take action and if I didn't believe in myself. And yeah, it's the best feeling ever, guys. It's, um, it's the freedom. It's the freedom, basically. And when you've got the freedom, you will think better, you will feel better, you will act better. Like, I go to the gym now six days a week and I don't even want to have a rest day. When I was working a nine to five, I used to hate going to the gym because it was boring because I had no energy. Whereas now, I go to the gym and I just want to stay in the gym, but I've got to leave the gym because I, I need to do work and stuff. So it's, it's a different kind of mindset. And you'll know what I mean if you are on this journey or if you do think like me, then you'll be able to relate to what I'm saying. Um, especially if you like the younger version of me. So, yeah, don't don't be so hard on yourself, man. You can do this. Like, you can do this. I'm telling you, you can do this. I've been in the position you're in, watching videos like this, looking at someone like this, and you can do it, guys. And that's, that's what I'm going to end the video on, really. That is it, guys. Um, Going from a nine to five to traveling the world, making content online. You don't even need to travel the world. You can just stay in one place. Like you don't have to go here, there and everywhere. Maybe you just want to move country. It's possible. It's doable. It's achievable, especially now. There's never been a better time than now. Technology is advancing. Social media is advancing. Imagine social media in five or 10 years. Think how popular it will be then. Because we've got a generation now of the older, I say the older generation, like our parents, grandparents, especially our grandparents. They never had social media. Imagine when we're grandparents and we've had social media from when we were born. And then we've got the whole generations under us looking at us thinking, yeah, social media is massive. Imagine I got into it when my granddad was born, when, when it first launched. Like, imagine where I'd be now. So. There's never any better time than now. And that's a very important point that I've just mentioned. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm just going to end it here. Uh, like I always say, if you found value, if it's helped you, let me know in the comments. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll see you all on the next video. Have a good day or good night, wherever you are. See you in a bit, guys. Peace.